If you're in business, you probably have a website, but can your site handle your growth? How many visitors before your site slows down or crashes? What about storage and data security? From web hosting to virtual servers, Pair Networks provides the online infrastructure you need to start, grow, and flourish. When it comes to security and updates, don't worry, we've got you covered. Our 24-7 U.S.-based customer support is the best in the industry. No frustrating chatbots are sitting on hold for hours. Check out Pair.com today to learn more. That's P-A-I-R dot com. It's Friday, June 7th, 2024, and this is the Washington Times front page. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Hallie Biden, the sister-in-law and ex-girlfriend of Hunter Biden, testified that she saw evidence he was using crack cocaine days after he bought a gun in 2018. Jeff Mordock and Susan Fericcio report Hallie confirmed a series of text messages she exchanged with Hunter days after he purchased a gun in October 2018. In the text, Hunter said he was buying, which Hallie said meant he was purchasing crack. Despite President Biden's public statement supporting his son and his family's looming presence in Wilmington, Delaware, where the trial is being held, legal experts say Hunter is unlikely to be acquitted. The text messages, coupled with Hallie Biden's testimony, are the strongest evidence prosecutors have presented that Hunter was an active drug user when he purchased the gun. The prosecution is expected to wrap up their case Friday. Surging right-wing parties are poised to make big gains as European Union voters head to the polls to elect a new parliament. Polls predict the European Union's main far-right and center-right parties will gain seats in the 720-seat European parliament. The consensus is unclear about how those gains will play out during a time of division and stress for the 27-nation bloc. Analysts note that conservative parties in the 27 European Union states differ on major issues, including relations with the U.S. and NATO, and policy on Ukraine and Israel. Donald Trump returned to the campaign trail for the first time since becoming the only former U.S. president to be convicted of a crime. Seth McLaughlin reports he used a stop in Arizona to criticize President Biden's new executive action aimed at securing the border, vowing to revive the policies he used to stem illegal immigration if reelected. Trump is resuming his campaigning as the dust settles from his conviction on charges of falsifying business records to cover up hush money payments to an adult film actress before the 2016 election. After more than two years of war with Russia, an estimated 30% of Ukraine's territory has been contaminated by landmines and unexploded ordnance. Ukrainian authorities say 67,000 square miles, or about a third of the country's total area, require mine clearance. That's threatened the agriculture exports and livelihoods of Ukrainian farmers. Ukraine was once one of the world's biggest farm sector exporters, producing enough food before the war to feed 400 million people annually. But food exports dropped by 96% during the first month of the war, and its key crop outputs were reduced by almost a third in 2022. And finally, Sean Salai looks into Louisiana's adoption of alternative conservative teaching materials for use in K-12 social studies classes. The Pelican State is the seventh to allow right-wing platform PragerU as an optional K-12 resource. Officials at the Louisiana Department of Education said they decided to collaborate with Prager after teachers started using the materials independently. Critics accused the state of angling to replace complex lessons on racism, immigration, and poverty with a whitewashed narrative aimed at electing Republicans. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and find us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us on social media at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo. 